So you may have just picked up your Google Pixel tablet and you might be trying to figure out exactly how to go ahead and use this really good tablet. So I'll basically break down a quick way of how to use it. It's not going to be anything crazy. I'm assuming most of you have probably already set up some sort of device before and used it. Now, I am also assuming you've already went through the initial setup of your Google Pixel tablet. So I've already gone through the initial setup. I've already gone through the, you know, the signing in and everything like that. So keep that in mind. But regardless, this is a really, really good tablet that I like. On the front, you're getting a very, very large display. It's a touchscreen. I think most of us know that by now. It's already on one of the main versions of Android, one of the most up-to-date versions of Android. But the big thing to keep in mind here too is that this thing is going to be first in line with getting updates in the future. Now we have a pretty thick amount of bezel around this specific device, but it's not bad. And on the top right here, we do have our front-facing camera. This is basically the preferred way Google probably wants you to hold this specific tablet is this way. However, you can turn it around and use it in other ways, like if you really want to like this. But in this case, we're going to be using it like this for the remainder of this video. Now, looking at the screen, it looks good, everything like that. On the top of the specific tablet, we do have a few things. So we have our microphone grills right here. We also have our volume buttons. So on the top right corner, if you're holding it this way, we have our you know power button and our volume button right up there. So I think it's a nice little thing. If you want to, you can go ahead and put up and down the volume right here. And we have our inbuilt recessed fingerprint sensor. And we have our inbuilt fingerprint. And we also have our recessed power button. So this is something that's cool. You can unlock your specific device with this specific power button as well, which is nice. So you have some capability there, which is really cool. On the top portion of our tablet, not really anything else. We have our speaker grills, which is nice. And we have a speaker grill on the other side too. So keep that in mind. So we basically almost get like surround sound. On the top portion, we have our single camera setup, which is nice. So if you want to, you can go ahead and take photos or videos from this back camera. We also have our Google logo with our specific, you know, preferential dock option. So if you were one of the first ones to order a Pixel tablet, you can get the dock free. But in case you didn't, you can still purchase the dock separately. They may still be giving it to you. I don't really don't know. But this is basically our dock connector. And there's probably going to be other accessories that we can use in this specific connector for too. On the bottom portion, that is our USB Type-C charger. That is how we charge up our tablet. And that is it on the outside. There's really not anything super crazy. It's a pretty decent build tablet. It feels very similar to me like the Pixel 5. If any of you have ever had a Pixel 5 phone, it basically feels something like that. Now, when you first power on your specific Google Pixel tablet, you will see this specific lock screen. So it may you know, tell you to go ahead and type in your passcode or whatever if you go ahead and actually swipe it up. But regardless, the time will be on the left side as well as the date. And you will also see on the top right portion all your notifications that you have. So this is something that's really cool because it gives you a glimpse of everything that's on your tablet right here. So it's very basic, not really anything crazy. To get out of this, we can basically swipe up and we will come into our home panel. Now on the top left corner, we will have our time as well as some icons depending on the notifications that we're getting. On the top right corner right here, we're going to be getting our Wi-Fi signal, battery, some other things like that too. And then we'll basically get our home screen. So this home screen can be customized. You can do all sorts of things with it. So for example, we can have things like our applications, widgets, you can have like this widget right here which shows the time, and we can also have our dock. So our dock stays consistent down here, we'll have the Google search, we'll have other applications here, but we can change up the dock if we want to. Now if we want to move things or delete things, all you want to do is hold down on a specific widget like this. You can swipe it up to remove it if you really want to, or you can swipe it to a different page like this, and you can drop it off like that. So this whole Android, you know, you can customize a lot of things within Android. So now we have two different pages. And if you remember, I said the dock pretty much stays consistent. So no matter what page I'm in, I'm basically, I can just, you know, have the same type of dock. I can also go ahead and take an application out of the dock by holding it down right here, swiping it out, bringing it up here or bringing it back down here. And if I bring it up here, it basically gets, I guess that application will always stay there. But again, I can have that type of capability here if I really want to. Now, if you want to remove a specific thing, I can hold down on my specific thing right here, click dismiss. I can also add a specific widget by holding down on an empty spot. I can change the wallpaper and style. I can go ahead and change widgets, or I can customize even more options within my home settings. So now if I want, I can go ahead and bring in a battery widget if I really want to. I'll just go ahead and bring this one in. I'll go and hold it down, and I'll go and drop it off right here. So you have that type of capability here, which is honestly pretty nice. Now, there's a few things that you can do here. You can open up apps, you can do whatever you want to, but there's two big things, swiping down and swiping up. So if you swipe down, you get into your control center, which is very similar kind of to our home screen, but not really. 
but also if you swipe up, you will get all your applications that we have right here. So we'll talk about both right now. Swiping down, you'll get into your basically your control center. So within this panel, you can change your brightness by quickly changing the brightness up and down right here. So if you want it lower or higher, you can change it like that. You can also go ahead and change up your specific toggles. So these are quick toggles. If you're within an application or something, you can go ahead and change up your specific quick toggles right here, which is really nice. You can change up your mic access, your internet, Bluetooth, so many different things here. So you have that type of capability here, which is honestly very nice. On the right side, you do have all your notifications. So what you can do is you can go ahead and clean out your notifications by clicking here, clear all. So then you can also, if I'm still down here, you can go and change up some other things here too. On the bottom middle right here, you can quickly toggle into some other options. So you can click this power button if you want to quickly power button, if you want to quickly restart or power off your specific device, you have that type of capability here. You can also jump straight into settings if you click right there. And this specific panel, I guess, jump straight into my Google account or my icon. So that's another thing you have there too. Now swiping up, you get into all your notifications. And I did that by simply just swiping up from the bottom, basically like right there. And these are all the apps that I have in my Pixel tablet. So now what I can do is I can scroll through, I can go and basically just do whatever I wanna do. If I wanna open up an application, I can just tap on it like this. And then I can go and scroll through and that's it. Like this is basically how you open up an application. But you might be trying to figure out how you can come back to your home panel. Well, if you see this little line right here, this little line that's kind of at the bottom, that is almost like a home button, but it's basically our gesture bar. So what we can do is if we wanna go back home, you basically swipe up from the gesture bar like this, and you can basically come back home. And it's really that basic. So you can do that within any application. If I'm in Google Drive and I wanna go back home, swipe up from the bar, and that is it. Now the dock does kind of come up, which is kind of, it might be a little annoying for some people, but that is it. If you wanna get into an application or you wanna go out an application, you can just swipe out a bit like that and you'll always come back to your home screen. Now, one thing to keep in mind too is that if you want to, you can also get into another mode called multitasking mode. So if you want to, basically, let's say I'm in the Play Store and if I'm in Google Chrome, but let's say I wanted to go back into my Play Store, well, what I could do is I can go ahead and swipe in between different applications by not swiping up from the bar, but more so swiping, you know, kind of side to side within the bar itself. So that's basically all you're going to have to do. Now the dock does make it a little bit more complicated. I don't know why the dock is being this annoying, but that's basically the option that you have. You can go ahead and swipe between applications like that, or you can also use the dock and basically jump quickly jump into an, one application to the other. So if you really want to, you have that type of capability there, which is really nice. So I think with, with the Pixel tablet, it needs a little bit more work, so some software updates, but that is basically that. You can also get into your multitasking panel by kind of swiping to the side. So you like swipe up and swipe to the side, and you'll come into your multitasking panel where, you, where you'll see all your other applications that you have here too. So that's another really, really cool thing that you have. Now, if you wanna download applications, you can use the Play Store. You have Gmail, Google Chrome, YouTube, Google Photos, Google Drive. You have lots of different applications here, which is really nice. Now, the one of the last things I think that is going to be very important for you for your Pixel tablet is the settings application. So what you're going to wanna do is tap on the settings application like this. And what I would recommend doing is basically going through and trying to see any, trying to go through each of these panels and try to understand all these panels within the you know, Pixel tablet. So under the search bar up here, I'd recommend clicking on search. And if you ever have any questions or you wanna look for a specific thing that you wanna change, you can always click right here in the search and you can search within your settings and you can basically see and change some other things within your settings panel. But what you can also do is if you really want to, you can go ahead and scroll through all your different you know, panels and applications that you have right here. And that's another option that you have too. But a big thing I'd recommend doing after you go through and understand all these other options is basically scrolling all the way down until you see system. So what I'd recommend doing is clicking on system right here. And what I'd recommend doing here is clicking on system update. So click on system update. And I would recommend going through and actually updating your Pixel tablet as soon as you buy it. As soon as you buy this specific tablet, go ahead and click check for update and go ahead and see if there's an update available. I'm not even on Wi-Fi, but check if there's an update available. And all I'd recommend you to do is to go ahead and update your specific device. As long as you update it, that's going to be one of the main things you can do. And I would honestly recommend you to do that for sure. So in terms of that, those are pretty much the main things I'd recommend doing. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.